how to find properties with extra living space to boost your cash flow. First, go to Zillow. Type in your city. Let's select our filters. I want to get a large house with fewer bedrooms. This will help to find extra living space like an office nook, dining room, or extra living room that I can then convert to a bedroom, increase rents, and boost my cash flow. So going into the filters, I'm going to select my price, which in this case is going to be under $500,000 within the Tampa market. Then I'm going to go to bedrooms and I'm going to use an exact match here. I'm selecting three bedrooms and checking exact match and clicking apply. Afterwards, looking at just single family homes, since that's my target. And afterwards, selecting square footage. Now this part is very important because we want to make sure we're looking at a larger home than what's typical for a three bedroom. So we can add that fourth bedroom. So I know in my market, most four bedrooms are 2,000 square feet. So I'm going to select the minimum of 2,000 and click apply. Now I'm at a couple of properties on the right hand side. I'm going to select one of these and look at it a little bit further. So here I see this is a property about $490,000 listed, three bed, three bath, 2,239 square feet. I know I can add value somewhere in there because typically four bedrooms are 2,000. This is even higher. So as I start to just read a description, I could see it's an excellent location on a corner lot, but the keywords I'm looking for here are plus a flex for study, office, or entertainment. So there's some sort of extra space within this property. And if I start to look at the photos and scroll down, I can see what the images are, which include, if you look closely here at the kitchen, the kitchen itself is fairly large and there's a dining room there. We could likely just block off that dining room and make that space an extra bedroom. The nook doesn't seem to be captured here, but maybe that could even be an additional bonus. So by looking at properties that have that extra bedroom, it makes it a lot easier to go into a property where you can boost cash flow from day one. And if we look here, we could also see this property is 10 minutes away from the University of South Florida. Now you can imagine doing this manually one by one across different cities and across different days to look at what properties get listed. It could be very cumbersome. This is why with coffee closers, we make it a lot more simple. So the same exact property is already tagged as add a bedroom. You can already see the cash flow metrics on the right hand side. So in this case, let's imagine that we buy the property as is. We don't add a bedroom. Well, we're going to lose out on a lot. From our estimate, we would be losing out on $1,300 a month. No one has time to be able to lose that type of money. So how do we make this deal work? Well, towards the bottom, we have the comps for our rent estimate. Let's imagine we want to be a little less conservative and we could see some of the latest comps are around $3,000. So we could change our rent up here in our calculator to $3,000. But we know we can add that bedroom. So by adding that bedroom, maybe we do additional analysis and we see we can increase rents even further by $600. So let's change our rent now to $3,600. Our cash flow is still not in the positive. So do we walk away from the deal? No, we can actually look to see what would make us at least break even by using the bar down below. And what we could see if we go 11% below asking price, we'd actually be at a slight profit. Now, taking into consideration rent growth and appreciation over time, this could be a home run deal, maybe not today, but towards the future if we're playing that long game. In addition to analyzing cash flow, we can learn more about the area as well, including the type of neighborhood and if there's early signs of gentrification. If we want to see a little bit more about the particular area, the property was over here on this right hand side. And right above it, we could see University of South Florida is in fact there, just like I said in the description. So by being able to utilize maps, cash flow, and find properties of opportunities is what we're doing here at Coffee Closers. So please be sure to check it out.